What's going on, everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit, rakeandprofit.com. Coming back to you guys with another live YouTube video. And today we've switched up the scenery a little bit and I'm experimenting with this new whiteboard. And in this video, I wanted to cover 11 of my top life hacks that help me to feel amazing almost every day. It's not every single day, but it's close to it. Helps to make me feel amazing every single day and helps me to be the best version of myself so I can crush it in all areas of life, whether that's health, family, business, finances, social, education, contribution, relationships, and love. So, um, you know, over the last five or six years, I've been really committed to self-development, bettering myself, and just improving my life essentially. So I want to share 11 things that really stand out to me that I feel like you can actually take and apply and use in your life. And these aren't like huge things where you got to go out and spend thousands and thousands of dollars. A lot of these things are common sense. Some of them are a little outside of the box. So uh, hang, hang with me. But um, I think these are things that you can actually use and apply that can make a really, really big difference. And you want to know what? I just thought of one more. So I'm going to write that down. All right, perfect. I have so many. So this is going to be 12. Let's shout some people out. If you see me looking down, I've got my computer down here, right? Uh, you might be able to see it right down here. So uh, I've got the comments coming in. What's going on, Scott? Good to see you. Nicole, what's going on, Nicole C? Great to see you here. Randy says, what's up, Rakin? Hey, man, just having some fun. Going to share these life, these 11 life hacks with you. Gabriella, what's going on? Good to see you. We got Vegas in the house. It's been a while. Thrift in the Carolinas. What's up, Steve? Night required says, I want to explode. That doesn't surprise me. Good to see you, Knight. Kareem Marie, good to see you. So I want to know right now, guys, do you want to learn about these 11 hacks? They're not here yet, but I'm going to be writing them down. I've got them in my handy dandy little notebook to make sure that we cover them all. But I want you to type a one in the comments right now. If you'd like to learn about 11 of these things that I've tried that have actually made a really big difference in my life that you can actually take and apply and increase your energy level by 10, 20%, increase your happiness by 40, 50%, little tiny things that you might not have thought of. Maybe you're kind of aware of it subconsciously, but you need that little reminder again to go out there and do that. Um, let me know right now, if you want me to share these with you, put a one in the comments right now. Let's see if anyone wants to hear what I got to say. Oh, we got a bunch of people who want to improve their life. That's what I like to see. We got Nicole saying one London K Stewart motivated medley. I love that name right there. C rich night required one for 11. That's my boy. Tina, Mark, Stitch, Gabriella, Fuzzy, Thrift in the Carolinas. we got a bunch of people in here. Okay, so let's get into it, guys. Some of these, like I said, are going to be a little more common, but I think some of these are foundational in the sense that it's going to give you that kick, that, that, little, that little punch in the stomach that you need every now and then to wake up. So let's get into this video, guys, and talk about these 11 hacks that can really help you to feel amazing every day, not only physically, but mentally and spiritually as well, which is really important if you want to improve the areas of your life, such as you know business or finances or even your relationships. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is water. Okay, I'm not sure what the study had had exactly said, but I was reading some studies about the population and how how much of the population is just dehydrated in general, and it was like seventy to eighty percent, something around it. it was a ridiculous number. The majority of the population is walking around severely dehydrated. One reason why is because they're not drinking water. They're just not. They're not drinking water. Most people are out there drinking soda pop. They're drinking juices. They're drinking coffee. And a lot of those drinks are actually acidic, which causes your body to become dehydrated to try to remove it out of your body. So one of the easiest things you can do if you're tired, if you're feeling lethargic, if you're not really feeling good, like have you ever just woken up and you're just really, really tired, but you got a good night's sleep and you just feel acidic. Have you ever felt acidic? You're just like, you feel off. You're not sick, but you just feel off. A lot of times that's because your body's in an acidic environment. You're eating a lot of processed food, junk food. I'll be talking about that. But if you're overly acidic because you're drinking tons of coffee, eating processed foods, you don't have enough water in you, you're going to feel like crap. So one of the best things you can do if you're feeling like crap, 
And this usually works for me about 50% of the time, maybe 60% of the time. If I don't feel good, I'll go downstairs, get a big glass of water, take a lemon, cut it in half and just squeeze the lemon into the water. And if I really want to feel amazing for the day, like this happens like 80% of the time, get a big gallon of water from the grocery store, take two lemons, cut it up, throw the lemons inside the gallon of water and be that guy or gal who walks around all day with that water, just, just sucking it down. You will feel absolutely amazing. Who knows what I'm talking about? Who has ever drank a ton of lemon water and just felt phenomenal? Why are you feeling phenomenal? Because first of all, when you're hydrated, each and every one of your trillions of cells is feeling fantastic. Each and every one of your cells is just dying for water, dying for hydration. All right. The majority of our body is made out of the water. The majority of this universe we live in is made out of water. Water is one of the necessities to life. And if you don't have enough of it, you're just not going to feel good. So I want to know right here, who knows what I'm talking about when it comes to drinking lemon water. Now, lemon is acidic outside your body, but actually inside your body, it's alkaline. And diseases and sicknesses and Ill illnesses, even cancers have been shown to not be able to survive in a very alkaline environment. So, you know, each part of your body is going to have a different alkaline to acidity ratio. Um, you know, so some parts of your body are obviously going to be very acidic and there's nothing you can do about it. Like your stomach, it needs to be acidic to be able to break down food. But in general, eating a lot of alkaline foods, fruits and vegetables and overhydrating with lemon water, it will make you feel freaking amazing. Stitch Witch says HDO will also relieve a headache. One of the biggest reasons you might be dealing with headaches or migraines is because you're severely dehydrated. I'm telling you, do this one of these days. I, I challenge you, go to the grocery store, Go to 7-Eleven, wherever, pick up a gallon of water, squeeze a bunch of lemon in it. You can even cut the lemon up and just throw it in and drink it. It will make you feel great. Even better than green juicing, I've noticed. Just drinking a ton of lemon water. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Scott Hunter says 100% agree. Brian Gonzalez says looking good, Rake, and thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. Flipping Hustler, what's going on? Good to see you. Fuzzy says love my lemon water. It truly helps. It does. So out of all the crazy things that I've done, I'm just crossing it off. Lemon water is one of the number one things you can do to feel amazing every day. Now, these first few things I'm going to talk about are going to have to be more, um, they're going to, they're going to be more aligned with health because I believe if you don't feel good, if you don't have the energy physically, it doesn't matter how on your game you are physic, uh, mentally or spiritually. If you're not physically feeling good, you're screwed. You really are. So the next thing I want to talk about is food. Okay. I'm not, a dietitian or nutritionist or a physical trainer. Uh, so, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt. But based on my experience, if I stay away from a lot of sugars, okay, back in the day, I used to drink a ton of orange juice and eat a bunch of fruits and stuff, which is fine. But I noticed that even if I'm eating the natural sugars, my blood sugar's crashing, it's going up and down, and my energy levels are just like a wave. So I've noticed if I cut out a lot of the processed sugars, even the natural sugars and fruits and stuff, and eat more um, foods that are either whole grain, which I've actually cut out a lot of the grains. I'll talk about that. But if I cut out a lot of the sugars and stuff and I eat foods that are from mother nature that have been here for thousands of years, cut out all the processed stuff, all the fried stuff, all the pizzas, all the junk. And now this is for like 80 to 90% of the time. Every now and then I screw up guys, just like anybody else. But for the most part, if you stick to foods that have been around for thousands of years and stay away from all the GMOs, the modified foods, the processed foods, even a lot of the pastas and the foods that don't really have any nutrients in it, you're going to feel so much better in general. Okay. So one thing I did is I went to a naturopath and I had an allergy test ordered and each and every one of you guys can do this. If you have insurance, I highly recommend you do it. And what they'll do and what they did for me is they took my blood. Okay. So Doctor pricked me. I squirted my blood on the thing like three different times. They sent it off to a company and it came back and it essentially told me what foods didn't get along with my body, an allergy test, right? And I found out that I am pretty severely allergic to whole grains, whole wheat, gluten. Uh, even I came back with coffee a bit and I've noticed, I've definitely noticed when I eat grains, my throat kind of closes up. You guys probably didn't notice, but a couple of years ago, I would have to like, like constantly take a breath when I was doing these videos. And I was like, almost like, it was almost like a shortness of breath. And I still feel a tiny bit. It's not huge, 
But I've noticed that when I cut out all the grains and all the breads and the whole wheat, I felt a million times better. I lost weight. And that closing up of the, the, uh, you know, the canal right here went away, dissipated like in a huge way. So get one of those allergy tests um, ordered and you'll find out what foods you should stay away from. And that made a huge difference for me. So stick to non-processed foods. Try not to drink too much coffee. Try to figure out what foods don't get along with your body that you're allergic to. And just getting that out of your way will make you feel so much more amazing every single day. Okay. Uh, the third thing I want to talk about is exercise. Okay. And not just any type of exercise. And now again, if you've never exercised in years, you're going to want to talk to a doctor, doctor, you're going to want to consult maybe a physical trainer. But for the most part, if you're active a couple times a week, or you're just active in general, one of the things that made me feel the best over the last couple of years is absolutely kicking butt with my exercise. And I actually want to write these down. Where is my marker right here? I want to write these down really quick. So number one was lemon water. Okay. Lemon water. That was the pretty much one of the biggest things you can do right now to feel absolutely amazing. The second thing that I mentioned, okay, is going to be food. So staying away from the processed foods, ordering maybe like an allergy test to figure out what you're allergic to, because most people are eating food that their body is just, it's having an inflam, it's, it's inflamed. It's, it's dealing with inflammation when you eat these certain foods, which is just making you feel like crap. So get an allergy test done. If you can stay away from the processed foods, drink a ton of water. And the third thing that I mentioned was exercise guys but not just any sort of exercise makes me feel amazing. Again, I'm only talking from my uh, experience right now, but, but that type of exercise that makes you feel like you're going to die, like you're sweating your balls off. You're going crazy, high intensity interval training. Now, again, if you've never exercised before, you could probably accomplish this by just walking or going on a hike. Again, consult your doctor or a professional, you know, obviously everyone's at a different stage, but for me personally, when I hit the gym hard and I really push myself past that point where I don't know if I can keep going and not in a really bad way, but more in like a, a mental way. Like have you ever been on the stair stepper or the elliptical for 20 minutes and you're just like, it's just a mental battle. When I push through what I believe I could accomplish and I know it's not like physically going to harm me, but I like mentally pat, go past my limitations when I'm exercising, it's euphoric. I feel amazing. It feels, it's one of the best feelings in the world. Like even better than staying hydrated, eating really good food. When you exercise, especially if you get outside, you get under the sun and you really push hard, it makes you feel good. And it's revitalizing. It gives you tons of energy. You feel, you feel the youth, you feel strong, you feel happy. So I want to know, has anybody ever felt the way that I have when you go out and you just have an amazing workout and you're just you just feel so accomplished. That's one of the best things, guys, I recommend if you want to feel amazing every day to be able to crush it in life, right? To be able to improve your health, obviously, but in business and finances and relationships, that exercise is really big. And again, that could be walking for you. That could be taking a light little hike. I don't know exactly what that is for you guys, um, but, but that's huge. I'm looking at the comments. Axel says, I didn't know anything about an allergy test. Yeah, definitely look into it. Um, gently love says my dental hygienist said to be sure to not brush your teeth immediately after drinking lemon water. That makes sense because of the acidity. Scott says, stay away from too much meat. Yeah. Eating too much meat, especially red meat. I definitely feel it. You know, I didn't know if you know this or not, but red meat actually stays in your digestive system for a really long time. I think it's like 14 to 24 hours. It actually takes for when you put red meat in your body, maybe even longer to actually go out the other end. So, you know, certain foods are going to digest a lot easier. And here's the thing, guys, back to the food, what you eat has a huge impact on your energy levels. Why? Because when you eat something, and I'm not a doctor, but I've read enough books to know when you eat something, it's going through your whole entire digestive system. And there's a whole process that goes into breaking your food down and assimilating all the nutrients for your cells, and then obviously excreting it out. So, the harder it is to break down, the more energy it's going to take out of your body to break it down. So eating really, really big meals as well 
and especially anything that's really spiking the, the your blood sugar levels, anything that's really just high in calories. Like I've noticed smaller meals make me feel much better. So those are the first three. Let's keep moving, guys. Here's one that's really important, guys, okay? Now, this is a little bit outside of eating and stuff, but what I want to talk about is clarity. and purpose. I want to know who can relate to a time when they were a hundred percent crystal clear in terms of what they wanted to accomplish in their life. I mean, 100% crystal clear. You knew, okay. And hopefully you can see me over here, but you knew, okay, this is what I'm doing for my health. And these are the, all the areas of life you may or not may or may not be able to see it, but you had very specific goals. You knew what you were doing with your health. You knew exactly your goals for your family. You knew exactly your goals for your finances, your spirituality, contribution. When you're 100% clear in terms of what you want in life and you have a real strong purpose, a reason why you're going after that vision of yours, it just makes you feel amazing. Have you ever had a time in your life where you just weren't sure Oh, you know, I really want to start eBay. I want to start Amazon. I want to start Poshmark. And then you're dabbling here, dabbling there, dabbling here, or you're wanting to lose weight, but you're trying keto. And then you're messing with Atkins diet and Weight Watchers and you're bouncing back and forth and you're confused and you're unclear. How does that make you feel? How are your energy levels? How are your stress levels? It causes chaos. So the more clear you could become in terms of exactly what you want, the better you're going to feel right? Because when you're worrying, when you're confused, when you're lost, when you're trying to figure things out, and of course, not every area of our life, we're going to have full clarity and purpose, but that's the goal. But when you have no idea or you're just lost, it takes so much energy out of you mentally. It really does. So if you want to feel amazing every day, and I'm going to be talking about this uh, shortly, you really want to become clear in terms of what you want, and figure out your purpose, why. And that's going to lead into number five right here. Let me take a knee to get in here and put this one down. Meditation, okay? Now, a lot of you folks watching right now might be thinking to yourself, Steve, why in the world are you talking about this stuff right here? What does lemon water and food and exercise and clarity and purpose and meditation have to do with me growing my business, Steve? I want to grow my business. Well, let me tell you right now, guys, if you feel like crap and you have no energy, you're dehydrated, your body's inflamed because you're eating foods that you're allergic to, you're not exercising, you're on the verge of having a heart attack or who knows what. We live in a world where there's a million and one diseases. If you're not feeling good and you're lost and you're confused and you're stressed out, your business is effed. You're screwed. You might have a little bit of success, but what's going to happen when things start to go wrong and you're already dealing with all this craziness inside your body? It's going to be really hard to succeed long term, right? So these are the things that I'm thinking about and working on myself because I want long term success and I know you guys too. So why is meditation important in terms of clarity and purpose? Because when you're meditating and there's a bunch of different ways you can meditate. I'm not going to get too deep into this now. Go on Google, read a book. But when you meditate and you allow yourself to get outside of your thoughts and you really slow down and you get into this this peaceful environment in your own mind, you allow yourself to be able to think again, because we're being bombarded with a million and one different thoughts and people coming after us for questions and social media and TV and the news and politics and family. There's so many people pulling at us. If you really want to figure out what you want and why you want it, you need to get alone. Now, meditation, it doesn't mean, you know, getting in a, uh, you know, you know, getting on the ground, getting in that little meditative stance. It could be a walk on the beach, a walk outside, just getting away from your phone, getting away from the music, right? Classical music or some meditative music is fine, but you've got to spend some time by yourself. I have a really good friend of mine who is so lost and confused and I try to give him advice, but his biggest problem is he never spends time by himself. It's great to have a social life. It's great to have people around you you know, for the majority of the time, because I find that I'm most happy when I'm with people as well. But I also notice that I'm almost like a mime and the people I hang out with, I seem to mimic and I start to take on their thoughts and their beliefs and their values. And I find that if we want to find our own true happiness, we've got to really go deep inside of ourselves. And meditation is great for that guy. So I highly recommend meditating. 
let me cross off some of these things that I've already talked about. <clears throat> okay, cool. Here's one big thing right here, and hopefully you can see you can see this. Okay, this is a really big one. Let me make sure I got this correct. Okay, cool. Action and progression. Okay. Why is why is taking action and progressing in the various areas of your life important when it comes to feeling amazing? Well, I believe that in order to be happy for me, I would like to know what your definition of happiness is. But for me, my definition of happiness is feeling great physically, mentally, and spiritually and taking actions on the things that mean most to me in my life and making progress on them. It's not a matter of being perfect or reaching my goals every single day, but it's a matter of knowing that I'm giving it 110% effort, okay, on a consistent basis towards my goals and dreams. And I'm taking action on them every single day and doing the best I can. That's my definition of success. That's my definition of happiness, okay? Taking action and making progress with my health, family, business, finances, spirituality, social, education, contribution, relationships, and love, okay? So I've noticed that when I'm taking action and I'm progressing in areas of my life, and sometimes progress is you know slowly up and then you go down and then you go up and you go sideways, but in general, if I'm giving it my best, like for example, I injured my neck lately. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm not necessarily making progress in terms of my fat loss and losing um, body fat right now because I've had to pull it back a little bit, but that's fine. But I feel happy still because instead of giving up and quitting, I'm going on walks. I'm watching my diet. Uh, I'm showing up to the gym. And even though I can't do deadlifts and squats, I'm showing up and I'm giving it my all. And that makes me feel freaking amazing. Okay. So that's really important right there, guys. That is very, very important. I'm going to dive into the comments right now. Flippin' Hustler says action equals confidence. Oh, I believe that. Yeah, I definitely believe it. The more action you take, you're going to get results. And even the more you fail, I feel like the more confident you become because you realize nothing can take me down. Scott says research has been done that confirms 90% of your thoughts are not even your own. They are the people's and the opinions around you. Meditation gives time to clear, reset the mind on a chemical, spiritual level. Man, Scott, you should be on the show right now because you said that in a beautiful way. Nicole says, my definition of happiness is peace. I love that, Nicole. So let's get on to the next one, guys. So, so far we've covered how to feel amazing every single day to take your life, business, finances, and all the other areas of your life to the next level. I talked about lemon water to alkalize and hydrate your body to feel great, eating the right foods that make you feel well, that give you the proper nutrition, obviously the micro macronutrients and staying away from foods that your body uh, becomes inflamed with. You can get an allergy test for that. Exercising to really light up your body, clarity, purpose, meditation, and ac action that leads you towards progression. So let's move into something that's really important, guys. This can kill you, okay? This can absolutely kill you, number seven. You can have all of these things right, one through six, but this is something <laughs> this is something that'll take you out, okay? So the opposite of this is going to be toxic relationships. Okay? So what you want are positive relationships. Now we have different areas of our life, right? We have love, we have relationships in, in love, we have relationships with family, we have relationships when it comes to um, business. There's different types of relationships for various areas of your life. But in general, you want positive relationships because that'll make you feel good. Being around negative, toxic people, gossip. And I'll be honest with you guys, I still fall victim to gossip. There's something about it that attracts you to it. I don't know what it is. So this is an area that I have a couple toxic relationships and it's my fault because there's something pulling me from my past that likes to do things I know I shouldn't. So this is an area I definitely need to improve on right here. I am not even close to being halfway perfect, <laughs> even halfway good at this right here. So that's one area I know I need to improve on to take my, my life to the next level. But who can relate? Who's ever been really fit and healthy and hydrated and you're feeling good, you're working out, everything's going great. And then all of a sudden, maybe it's a mother or a father or an ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, a friend, or somebody who just says something or is so negative and it just takes you down. I want you to type a two in the comments right now. If you've ever dealt with somebody like that, a negative, toxic, 
person, right? And when you're around them, what do they make you feel bad? Takes you out of your element. You might be so pumped up, so excited. And it just rips you apart. Who has ever dealt with someone like that? I know I sure have. There's a couple people in my life that I can definitely say when I get around them, they just seem to bring me down. At least three people, I would say, that I'm pretty close to. So, um, you know, Stitch is saying two, Stephanie two, Sean, Gabriella, Flippin, Hustler. Man, Golden Opportunity says, I'm a life coach who helps people own their life. So check out Golden Opportunities Coaching. Definitely a, a pretty, seems like a pretty cool guy right there. So a lot of people can relate. So you want to try to stay away from people who you know are toxic. Now, a couple of people in my life that I just, you know, they're family members and you can't really get away from them. So I would say limit your time or don't share your goals. Don't share your dreams and aspirations with people who are going to put you down. I think that's the best way to say it. I read it in a book. I think it was the, uh, the miracle morning. They were talking about that. So that's a really, really big one right there, guys. Positive relationships. Here's something that makes me feel amazing. Giving and contribution. Who here feels better when they give versus receiving? Have you ever gone to somebody's birthday and you've given them something or you've donated something, you've helped out at a soup kitchen or you were helping somebody in need and it made you feel so freaking good. I don't know what it is. You know, recently I purchased a Corvette Stingray. It was my dream car. It was my dream car. Okay. You know, it was beautiful. It still is beautiful. It's in my garage right now. I love it. But I'll tell you right now, the times that I am able to get that message on Facebook, or I'm able to help somebody or for example, helping my mother to build her Amazon business. So now that she's able to retire and she's able to make enough money to take care of herself and live comfortably. That makes me feel so freaking good. Giving and contribution makes me feel amazing every single day. And it doesn't have to be something huge, but I've noticed if I'm ever feeling down, if I'm not feeling good, come on YouTube, make a positive video, add value in somebody's life, donate something. I don't know what that is for you. We're all different, but something about giving and contribution just makes me feel amazing. So I definitely wanted to put that in here, guys. Um, if you're ever feeling down, you want to feel amazing every single day. Now, I want to talk about some things that are a little outside of the box. Who's open to hearing about some things that most people probably aren't talking about and might even think to yourself, that's crazy. That's a little wacky, Steve. Well, I've experimented with a lot of different things and I'm sure I'm going to be experimenting with a lot more things over the next four or five years, especially when it comes to like biohacking. But who'd be open to hear a couple things that I do during my morning routine and even during my night routine, which I'm starting to sculpt and put together. My night routine needs a lot of work, by the way. My morning routine is pretty good. But my night routine is it's freaking messed up. So um, who'd be open to hearing a couple things about how to feel better that you might not have known about? Well, let me share one thing, guys, right here, okay? And I just invested in it recently. It's called Red Light Therapy. Has anybody ever heard of red light therapy before? Maybe you visited a spa, okay, at a nice hotel, and maybe you've seen these big right, uh, red lights shining, and people were standing in front of them, maybe toward, towards it or um, you know, flipped around. Usually you're naked when you're in front of it because it's really good for your whole entire body. But who's ever experimented with red light therapy? I want to know right now. I want you to type the word red in the comments if you've ever – used red light therapy before because I just invested in it. Um, I'm a newbie when it comes to it, so I don't have a ton to say about it. I can share with you guys some of the science behind it and what I've noticed over the last, I've been using it for about four days since I purchased it, but uh, red light therapy. Okay, guys, let's see what people have to say about it. So Gabriella knows all about red light therapy. We got Red Rocket Resells. I don't know if she knows about it, but it's the, the name's in her name. But anyways, let me tell you guys about red light therapy. So red light therapy is a uh, therapy based upon a specific spectrum of light. So light is comes in all different colors and stuff. You might have heard of like ultraviolet light, which is a certain color, which could be harmful to your skin. There's all different types of light. There's blue light, red light, infrared light. Well, this certain spectrum of light which is in these red light therapy machines has been known to cause all these various positive effects in your body. So 
I was actually watching this. They were talking about it on uh, the doctors recently. And um, I ended up doing my research and getting one. So essentially what this machine does is it lets out all this light. Again, it's a specific spectrum of light and I'm going to be making a YouTube video about it. I've already got a bunch of clips shot, but what you do is you stand in front of this light, you go to dark room and you hang it up and you just stand in front of it and you let it shine all over your body. And for men, it's actually been proven to three times boost three X, um, boost the amount of testosterone in men, which is absolutely huge right there. It's also been proven to stimulate your mitochondria. So your mitochondria are like the powerhouse in your body. They're what produce uh, ATP, which is the energy in your body. So by standing in front of these red lights, it's actually been scientifically proven. There's actually a lot of athletes and UFC fighters who use this. It's been known to stimulate your cells, your mitochondria, and it's been known to build energy. And I actually notice when I stand in front of it, I feel like an electrical feeling kind of going through my body. It's very interesting. It's very, very interesting. So um, some other benefits for women is it helps to um, get rid of stretch marks, men or women, especially if you're, you know, going through after pregnancy, it's been known to heal wounds, heal injuries. Um, I'm trying to think of what other benefits it has. There's a bunch of other benefits to it, but those are some of the main ones right there. So red light therapy, I just in, uh, invested in it. So I will definitely keep you guys posted with my results, but I've really been enjoying that. Here's another one, guys, this, <laughs> if you're ever feeling depressed, if you're feeling, um, you just don't feel like facing the day, this is a hard one. This is probably one of the toughest, weirdest, craziest things I'm going to share with you guys. If you followed me for a while, you probably know all about it. Cold showers. Who here has ever taken a cold shower before? Boy, are they tough. Now, it's a little easier if you make it hot and you get in the hot water and then you turn it cold. I've been doing this for about six months or so. I actually did a 30-day cold shower challenge a couple months ago. I had uh, documented on Instagram a little bit of it and Facebook. But a cold shower is great for various reasons. Um, the first reason is cold showers have been known to promote fat loss. So there's something called, I believe it's called brown fat. I think it's like in your back area. I'm not exactly sure the science behind it. Um, I know Tim Ferriss talked a lot about this, but cold water actually stimulates the brown fat and can actually increase a little bit of fat loss, which is cool. Getting in a cold shower can help with healing injuries, can reduce inflammation. A cold shower has actually been proven to increase your immune system. So it can help you to build up a tolerance against uh, you know, various sicknesses and diseases and different things like that. Um, a cold shower is also great mentally, okay? Now, why is it great for you mentally? Because getting in the cold shower is one of the hardest things you can ever do. Here in Connecticut, it gets cold, really cold. So I double dog dare you to go wake up one morning, six, seven in the morning. It's really cold. Turn it as cold as you can and get in and watch as your life changes in front of your eyes. It's freaking wacky. It's the weirdest, craziest thing I've ever done before. But I tell you right now, when you go in a cold shower, could be a minute, two minutes, three minutes, but especially if it's a really, really cold shower, um, when you get out, you feel effing phenomenal. You feel on top of the world. It's almost like a fuzzy, warm feeling after. Cold shower, go directly into meditation or rebounding, which I'm going to talk about in a second, which is jumping up and down the trampoline, which is great for stimulating your lymphatic system. You will feel phenomenal. Great for your body. Um, just a phenomenal exercise and uh, definitely helps to improve energy as well. So I want to know who has ever tried that. Scott says it's a challenge first thing in the morning. Get your mindset in a great place to start the day. It does because if you can beat a cold shower, you can beat anything. So it's it's one of those mental games. Zaheer Malik says weight loss. I should be in the I should bathe in the Arctic. I don't know if you guys ever follow a guy named Wim Hof. He has a really big following. He's like walked up and down Mount Everest and like bare feet with shorts on and no shirt. He's crazy. He's big into like cold plunges. Tony Robbins does a cold plunge every single morning as part of his routine. Um, so the cold water definitely has a therapeutic um, effect on human beings. So definitely look into it. Um, another thing that I want to talk about is green juicing. I love green juicing. I try to do it every single morning. If I can't green juice, I actually picked up a green powder. It's not going to be as effective as green juice because there's going to be a lot of enzymes and micronutrients that are going to just die based on processing. But if you could get yourself a, a juicer, a nice green juice in the morning, try to keep the sugars to a minimum. Uh, if you are going to have sugars, have them in the morning. That's the best time 
Uh, but a nice vegetable green juice is very alkalizing, energizing. If you get green juice or take some green powder, put it in water, stir it up, take it down and get outside under the sun feels amazing. One of the best ways to feel amazing every day, especially if it's spring or summer in your area, drink a ton of lemon water, take down a green juice and it feels great. Uh, a lot of properties inside of green juice to fight against various diseases, uh, cancers, uh, free radicals. There's a million and one various health benefits to taking a fresh green juice. Now stay away from the processed green juices at the supermarket. They're most likely dead and depleted of all nutrients and stuff. So try to keep it as a hundred percent fresh as you can, but definitely a great thing right there. Um, another thing I want to share is rebounding. So I got this from Tony Robbins a couple of years ago and I invested in a trampoline slash rebounder called the cellulizer. Okay. Um, rebounding is great for a couple different reasons. Now, somebody on Instagram said, Steve, why are you jumping up and down on the rebounder? Go to my Instagram at Rake and Profit. You'll see me doing it firsthand. And uh, someone asked me, Steve, why are you rebounding? Why don't you just go outside and walk or hike or go to the gym? I don't jump up and down on the trampoline to try to improve my cardiovascular system or to burn calories because I'm too good a shape now, just based on my working out for the last year and a half to really get a sweat from it. I could do it if I did it for like 30, 40 minutes. But for the most part, I am using rebounding on a daily basis as part of my routine because every single time you jump up and down on the rebounder, your cells are bouncing up and down. And there's something that's called the lymphatic system inside your body. And there's something called lymph. And a lot of that stuff, I believe it holds a lot of toxins and various things that your body wants to get rid of. But the problem is your lymphatic system isn't like your blood. You don't have the heart pumping the blood. You have your heart pumping blood so you can get rid of things and toxins. But your lymphatic system, it's really hard to move your lymph in your body, which you really want to get out of your body. Again, I don't understand fully all of the science. I just know the lymphatic system holds a lot of toxins. And jumping up and down on the rebounder can help you to move lymph, which could help you to become healthier. So rebounding every single day helps me with energy and it just makes me feel great. So definitely consider looking into rebounding if you want to feel amazing every single day. So let me write some of these down. Um, rebounding. Okay. So I want to know right now, guys, who is enjoying this video? It looks like we've got 87 people watching live. So if you are enjoying this video right now and you feel like you can take one or two or three of these things and implement them and improve your life. I want to know right now, guys, hit that like button and leave a comment. What's one thing out of all of these that I've shared so far that you feel like can actually make an impact in your life? And don't just say it to BS, like be real. Like what's one of these that you're committed to doing to improve your life? I'm going to be looking in the comments over the next 30 seconds while I take a drink. Kenneth says, too many cold showers back in June real high. Gives me an aversion to it as an adult. I can only imagine. Axel says, I'm taking notes, Steve. So here says, smash that like button. It's good to see you. Here's it here. Brandon Ortega. What's up, Brandon? Says, reminds me of destroying the, illu uh, the illusion channel with the whiteboard. Interesting. I'm going to have to check that out to see what you're talking about. Scott says, fantastic content. This would be great. Gabriella says, I'm going to be implementing giving. Giving and contribution. It'll make you feel amazing, guys, and it'll help the world. Flippin says, I commit to a cold shower. Flippin, you are flipping crazy, man. I'll tell you right now, this is the hardest one right here. One of the hardest ones, guys. It's, it's crazy. I'll tell you right now, if you want to change your state, as Tony Robbins would say, jump in a cold shower. That's the quickest way to flip-flop exactly how you're feeling. So, um, Buffalo Shark Reseller. So, this is actually a good one, guys. I've actually kind of tried to stay away from this because I didn't know what people would think, but Buffalo shark says, since we're all mature, mature adults here, we'll talk about it. He's talking about no fap. I don't know if you guys know what no fap is, but it's essentially masturbation. And I'm going to cover that right now. And you know what? I'll even put it on the board right now. You know, I'll put no fap for the children who are watching right now. I feel like as a man, no fap or fapping, whatever. I don't really follow the movement, but I know what it is. I feel like masturbation is one of the biggest energy sucks. If you've ever, if you're a guy and you're watching porn or you're hooked in it where you're doing it once, twice a day, which I tell you right now, I have a lot of friends. Obviously, I talk to a lot of them. 
most of them are doing it every single day. And I can tell you right now, as a from a guy's uh, standpoint, doing that is one of the number one things that will ruin your relationship. It will absolutely destroy your relationship. So I'm not going to go into super depth, but I can tell you from my own experience, if I'm doing that on a regular basis, my energy level, if my energy level is right here, and let's just say this is rock bottom, and this is like the highest I can get. If I do it, it's literally like that. So if you're a guy watching it, and obviously, you know, this is something that I need to work on as well, but this is probably one of the hugest, besides maybe eating like a pizza, okay, or being around negative people, this right here, whoever left that comment, is probably one of the freaking worst things that you can possibly do as an entrepreneur. I don't think I've ever heard anybody talk about that, but I'm going to just be real with you guys right there. So, um, let's see. Yeah, I know things got crazy. Things got crazy in this chat right now, guys. So we're talking about this and now we got a bunch of people coming out in the comments. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Buffalo shark says it equals superpowers. No joke. So this might have to be something that we talk about in the future a little bit more, but for now, let's awkwardly move on. Okay. Um, another thing I want to talk about is power questions. Okay. So I stole a lot of these things. Well, not a lot of them, but at least three of these things from Tony Robbins. Power questions are one of the best ways to direct your focus. What you focus on in life is what you're going to experience. For example, if you're focusing on holy crap, like Trump is a madman and you know, Russia is pissed off at us. And what if we get blown up and there's an EMP attack and you're focusing on all these things and you're watching the news, you're going to be in a really negative state. Now, could that happen? Probably could. Let's not get all political here, but it probably could. Or what if you're just watching the 11 o'clock news and you're talking, you're hearing about all these murders and these burglaries and people getting abducted and sex slaves and you have daughters and you're like, holy crap, what if they get like, there's so many nasty negative things in this world. There's just as many, if not more positive things. But if you focus on the most screwed up things in this world, your life is going to be a mess. So what you focus on, for example, maybe you focus on someone who said, you know, called you fat or somebody who said you're a loser, somebody who said, let's get more realistic. Somebody who said, you're never going to make it. What's going to happen when you focus on those things, guys, you're going to live in that realm. You're going to live in that negativity and you're never going to accomplish your goals. So back to what I was saying, power questions is setting yourself up for success. So when I'm on the rebounder sometimes and I'm jumping around, or maybe sometimes I'm just taking a walk outside, I'm asking myself power questions. Now, what are some power questions that you can ask? Let me find my eraser guys. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys something that's really freaking cool. Okay. I'm going to give you guys some power questions that will change your life. Okay. Gratitude. Excited. Committed. Happy. Okay. Why am I telling you these words? You can turn these into power questions. So every single morning, I want you to wake up and ask yourself, what am I grateful for? And I want you to really think about it and feel it. I'm so grateful for my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful to, to, to have a fit body and have two arms and two eyes and two ears and two legs and to be healthy and to, to live in a free country. I'm so grateful that my, that my mom is, you know, she's retired and she's got this book business and she's happy. And I'm so grateful to be able to make a difference in people's lives. What are you grateful for? I already feel freaking phenomenal. Just thinking about all those things. Now, if you want to get excited, what do you do? Start asking yourself power questions. Okay. What am I excited about? I'm so excited for the green room event. I'm going to do this live. I'm so excited for the green room event, June 6th to June 10th. And I'm so excited to meet all these awesome resellers and entrepreneurs. I'm so excited for the summertime because it's going to be warm and I could go hiking and I could get in my new Corvette. I'm so excited to, um, you know, launch a new video because I share some really cool information that's going to help people to make more money. I'm already getting freaking excited. Just asking myself those questions. What am I committed about? What am I happy about? That is one of the best ways that you can start to feel freaking amazing is by asking yourself these questions. Okay. Now it's not easy to do every single day because we're creatures of habits habit. But if you start to get in the routine of doing some of these things over here, it will become a habit and a routine and you're going to regularly feel good. But what most of us do is we, we ask ourselves questions like, 
What's going to happen if I crash my car? What's going to happen if my YouTube channel gets banned? What's going to happen if I get suspended on Amazon? What's going to happen? And it's fine to plan for the worst, but most of us are thinking the most negative things. What's going to happen if I ask her out and she says no? What's going to happen if they laugh at me? So what you focus on is going to be your experience. So power questions are huge right there. And one more thing, guys, I want to share with you to feel amazing every single day. And we actually went to 14. Have a social life, guys. Have some fun every now and then. Everybody's so got to stick up their butt about being so perfect. Go out and have some fun every now and then. Go out to the movies. Go out with some friends. Go travel. Go eat a freaking pizza. Go get drunk every now and then, right? Like, you know, I'm not saying if you got a problem, go get drunk, but have a couple drinks. Like, a lot of us people who are out here trying to be entrepreneurs and create amazing lives or watching Gary Vaynerchuk and listening to Tony Robbins. It's like, we got to be so perfect all the time. Let's be real guys. We're going to die eventually. Every single one of us are going to die. There's so many fun things that we could do from time to time that would really allow us to have so much better and happier experiences in life. So don't be scared to have some fun and go out and enjoy yourself and screw around every now and then, or binge on Netflix every now and then the key is if you have that pizza or you binge out on Netflix or you freaking get drunk one of those nights and you go out and party, you want to obviously do it responsibly, but you want to make sure that if you do something really stupid <laughs> that you shouldn't be doing on a regular basis to end it at one, you know, balance is key. You don't want to do it. You don't want to eat a pizza on Monday and then on Wednesday and then on Friday, because now you're creating a routine that's going to set you up for failure, but it's okay once a month to screw off. Okay. It's okay. Once a month to go out and have some drinks. It's okay. You know, a couple times a week to go out and have some fun, but you want to do it responsibly and you want to realize that who you hang out with and what you do on a regular basis is going to become you. You are going to be the person that, that the thoughts that you have and the people you hang out with and the actions you take on a regular basis. So those are the 14, 14 things, guys, drinking lemon water, eating the right foods, exercising, having clarity and purpose in your life, using meditation to figure out what you want, why you want it in your purpose, taking action and making progression in health and business and fitness and all areas of your life to really feel happy and successful, staying away from toxic people, finding positive relationships, giving, making contributions, using some weird things like red light therapy, cold showers, rebounding, no fapping, power questions, and having fun in a social life and going out and enjoying yourself every now and then. You don't have to have a stick up your you-know-what all the time and be so serious. Laugh, have fun, be weird, be yourself. That's how to feel amazing every single day. And those are the things that I'm focusing on every single day to try to be the best version of myself. You know, I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. We have our flaws. But you want to know what? Nobody can knock you for trying to do the best you can to improve. So that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm going to jump into the comments really quick and see what folks have to say. But uh, appreciate you guys sticking around. We had a really nice turnout today, over 90 people. If you guys enjoyed this, do me a favor and smash that like button. Appreciate all the likes and all the love. Negative emotions are also important. I think it's okay to feel a little negative every now and then or to cry or to be upset. Sometimes you got to get it out. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. <laughs> Jonathan, I like that. Yeah, big shout out to Golden Opportunities Coaching. We got a life coach in the house. Josh says, great info. Thank you. Josh, appreciate you watching. Glad you enjoyed. Gently love brands is one of your best yet, Steve. Well, I'm glad that you found value in this video and hopefully you can take one or two things and apply it to improve your life. I believe your name is Amin or Iman. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, I'll call you double A. I love your videos. I love you. Night required. Feel amazing every day by doing 14 of the 11 things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, night, man. I could always count on you for a good joke, brother. I appreciate that. Dave's Quest. Steve, I listened to you for a while while I was a postal carrier, and I appreciate your videos. Awesome. Postal carrier. So you'll be retiring, what? After 20 years of service, I think you get a full pension and everything. I'm not sure if it's 
changed up, but that sounds pretty cool. Alexander says, I love your enthusiasm. Never loses that. I try not to, at least on camera. Scott says, I think this type of content will explode your personal brand. I really want to start creating more content that I'm really, really passionate about and that I'm really working on in my life. You know, one of the struggles I've had with this YouTube channel in general is just not being as big as an eBay and Amazon seller as I used to be. And that's like what a lot of my followers are looking for. But I really want to help people and make a difference. And I still want to talk about eBay and Amazon, but I just don't want it to be every single one of my videos. So one thing I'm really passionate about is self-development and health. And I feel like we can really help the entrepreneur out there by getting these things in line. So I'm going to keep creating videos that I'm passionate about. And hopefully I can use that motivation or that energy to attract others that are interested in it as well. But don't worry, I'm still going to have a bunch of eBay and Amazon and reselling content because I freaking love reselling. And I feel like reselling is probably the number one thing that's changed my life outside of everything. If it wasn't for reselling, I don't know where I'd be. What's up, Nick K? Great job, Steve. I love how positive you are in all your videos. Good to see your thoughts on it. Appreciate that, Nick. Thank you so much, man, for that compliment. Stitch Witch, new discussion at the dinner table tonight. No fap. Oh, geez. That would be quite the conversation at the dinner table. The 50 Flamingo, self-help guru in training. I don't know. Maybe. Golden Opportunities Coaching. Why don't you reach out to me? Rakenprofit at gmail.com golden opportunities and we can set something up. Flip and hustler done. Started warm, went cold. This will take practice, man. Flip and hustler literally just jumped in the shower and came back out of the shower. Um, hopefully there was no fapping involved. Just kidding guys. I couldn't help it. Um, looking at some other comments. Appreciate everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. So I think that's about it, guys. Um, again, if you enjoyed this video, like it, share it. There's a little bell icon that's up above. Hit that if you want to get noti notified for, for, for more future videos. Also, I posted a video a couple hours ago. We have a free six-day Poshmark workshop going down on Sunday. It's all virtual. So we already have all the videos edited, the workshops done. So if you go down below, I believe it's the first link. Actually, it's not there. Let me edit that really quick. Uh, but if you go over to rakenprofit.com forward slash Poshmark, that's rakenprofit.com forward slash Poshmark, you can actually sign up for the free six day Poshmark workshop. Let me put that in. Uh, free six day Poshmark workshop. Cool. So I just changed that in the description, rakingprofit.com slash Poshmark. I did a collaboration with Jason and Karen of the Thrifty Flamingo YouTube channel. They did $36,000 last year on Poshmark. They're planning on doubling it this year. So if you're an eBay seller, especially if you're selling clothing, this is a no brainer guys. If you're selling clothing, hats, belts, accessories, and even more than that, women's clothing, you've got to get this workshop. It's 100% free, no strings attached. And um, we've got a six part. You're going to get a video every single day. And it's going to go through inventory management and Poshmark, a complete behind the scenes walking tour of a successful Poshmark business showing everything. We're going to talk about shipping, how to fulfill your orders, what sells best. We're going to go into their closet, share their results. We're going to talk about a bunch of things, guys, that can help you to get started with Poshmark. So one of the best things you can do is build up multiple streams of income. And Poshmark, I'll tell you right now, in a couple of years, it's going to be, I have a feeling it's going to explode. Okay. It's going to explode and people are making more money with their clothing lately on Poshmark because of the perceived value. So you got to check it out guys. First link down below, but that's all I got for you guys. Appreciate you watching. Have an amazing day. Go out there, apply a couple of these today, and then let me know guys in the next live stream, what worked best for you. So without further ado, guys, appreciate it. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye.